Hello everybody and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in today's video I'll be showing you how to create um, food items. So as your player's hunger bar goes down, um, yeah, um, you'll be able to pick up different items to eat. So let's begin by making a actor blueprint and call this food base. And let's just add a static mesh component. We can drag that to make it the default scene root, and let's just make it a um, the projectile mesh component. So now this is what a food item would look like. So if, to get the scale correct, drag this into your level. That is obviously way too big, so set the scale to 0.1, um, like that, and that should be better. Perfect. Now we can simulate physics, set the mass to, let's say, 0.1 uh, kilogram, and generate overlap events. Set this um, collision to block all, and add another um, sphere collision right here. We can call this pickup radius, just like that. Now let's set the radius on this sphere to, let's set it to 250. Uh, yeah, 250 should be good. And set it to overlap all. There we go, just like that. Go to your project settings and under input, add a Add this, a fire action mapping, and just set it to your left mouse button. So then under here we could type in fire. And then it's going to cast a ray. Cast line by channel. The start location, get your camera. Get location. Drag that in. The end location is get rotation. Get world rotation. Get forward vector. Multiply this by an integer. Let's say five. Let's, let's just do 500. And then add these two together. And then now that into our end and let's do persistent so let's try that so now we can cast array just like that see out of our camera um so we can type in break and we get everything put a actor has tag node type in food we could drag off a branch if if it has food. So if this is true, we want to cast to food base. Drag that into the the um, actor node right there, and then we can get food amount. We want to now get our hunger. Add both of these like that and then set hunger to that down. So wait for our hunger to go down a bit. See we can click like that, it's not doing anything, and then we click on the food, it um gives us more food. See? Every time it goes down, I'm gonna click right now, and now it goes back up. But now, what we could do, honestly, is do this. We don't even really need that. So now it still should work, but let's see when our food goes down. Oh yeah, now we don't get an error. So um, delete that tag like that, and that should be good. But then we want to destroy 
destroy actor and set that to the um the hit actor like that so notice how it's not destroying anything except the food once we click on it and then we get the food um back down there so um what we can do to make it a bit more organized drag that like that and drag it and make sure everything's organized like that so let's quickly add a crosshair if we go to the player ui we can add a an image texture anchor that to the middle set the size to 50 and 50 negative 25 negative 25 so that should be directly in the middle now it is so let's set this image texture to a an image um, Here we go, image. We got the first person crosshair, like that. So now we have a crosshair and we can aim and get the food. Yeah, so that's how you pick up food. Now under the f uh, food base component, let's change this. Um, so it allows for like different expansion. So let's put set food amount and we'll put that to five, like that. So now, if we want to create a, uh, a different food item, we just go to create a blueprint and we'll just type in food base. Here, we can call this steak or something. We can double click on this and then we can override this function. Um, or override, let me find it. Override function on begin play set food amount and we can set this to whatever value so let's say this one does 10 instead of 5 so the left one does 10 and the right one does 5 okay so let's let our hunger go down let's let it go down 15 points so two more times and now one more time Okay, there we go. So this one's going to do uh, five. So it's going to go up only one section. This one should do 10. Ready? I'm just going to wait for it to go down one more time. And this one should do 10. So it did a lot more. Which is good because then you can um, make different food items very fast. So let's set that to that's simulate physics. Again, now we should be able to push it around like that. So if we sprint, we can eat. Uh, and everything like that. So in the next video, I'm going to be uh, showing how our hunger will go down when um, at a faster rate when we're sprinting, so it's more realistic. And then I'll go over like potions for like health and everything like that. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like, and stay tuned for the next ones. I'll see you later.